guys, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you how I clean my crystal chandelier. Unfortunately, it's been neglected for a couple of years now, and I thought it would be fun to share with you how I detail clean it to make it sparkly and shiny and new looking again after a little bit of neglect. So I hope that you find this video helpful, and I'm going to show you the tactics that I have used to clean up my chandelier. Okay, so let's get started. Here is my very dirty chandelier. And what you're going to need is, this is one part apple cider vinegar, one part water. So I just filled it halfway with apple cider vinegar and I filled the difference with water. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to take a little bit of cling wrap and I'm going to cover the tops of the bulbs here with this so that the you know electrical part doesn't end up getting wet. So first let me just give you a good look at how dirty the chandelier is. So if you're to do this process maybe three or four times a year, um, you're not going to have to take as much time as I will have to take right now, being that I haven't done this in a couple of years. Um, you don't need to take it down from the ceiling. I have for purposes of number one, filming this video. <laughs> and we actually had to take it down anyway because we had some water damage on our ceiling and um, there's some work being done. So this is actually very convenient for me because I'm really going to need to get into these dishes really well because they're just caked with dust. So let's get the process going, but I just wanted to show you the before. spray the whole chandelier really good with this apple cider vinegar and I'm using this uh, little kiddie pool to set the chandelier in but typically you would probably be doing this over whatever area it is hanging and you're likely going to be up on a ladder so make sure that you just completely cover the area underneath because this is going to drip dry for quite a while and you just want to make sure that you cover anything that it may be dripping onto so I'm just gonna start spraying the entire chandelier and make sure you get every little crevice, every little crystal. Just make sure everything is completely covered with the apple cider vinegar. And since we have the bulbs covered with the saran wrap, there's no worries there. And I'm just gonna keep spraying away. Okay, so I've gone and really sprayed the whole thing and I'll show you, I've used a really good portion of this. There's only maybe a quarter of the bottle left. So I completely saturated every single crystal. My biggest challenge is going to be wiping all of these trays down and maybe individually wiping some of these down only because I waited so long to do this process. Um, I highly recommend, again, trying to do this at least three to four times a year so that it just stays shiny and new and you never have to individually wipe things down. But we're gonna wait a couple of hours now and let it kind of drip dry and then we'll take a look at it. Okay, so it is a few hours later, so now I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna wipe all of these little cups that kind of get some dust and gook in there. You can see that. So it's only because I let it go for so long, but I'm gonna wipe all of that. And what I have here is my little spray bottle and like an old washcloth. And I'm going to wet it as I need to, to kind of um, wipe down some of these little crystal pieces that still look a little dull to me because there's so much stuff that's been caked on them over like the last couple of years. So I'm just gonna wipe everything down and then we're going to hang it up and I will show you what it looks like when it's all nice and cleaned up. So let's get to this. I 
additional thing that you might find helpful to get into little cracks and crevices, like just to get into these trays a little bit better and especially around the rims and like down in here, you have all of these crystals hanging so it can be difficult to get a towel in there. You can just get a toothbrush and wipe that all out very easily and get in all those little cracks and crevices just to get anything that's really caked on up a little bit better. And you'll see, at least in my case, there is a lot of stuff on there that really needs to be wiped down very well. And I like that the bristles can get right into this little area down here. So that might be helpful to you if you really need to get into those more difficult to reach spaces. So here is the final outcome of the chandelier. I think that it looks really good shiny and new again and quick and easy especially if you keep up with it so now i think i am going to make a point of taking care of this every season just giving it a quick spray and it'll be done and always sparkling and pretty so I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me at Jen's Happy Home on Instagram and hit that subscribe button so that I can update you every time I have a new and fun video to share. And I hope that you guys are all off to a great week. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.